Okay, so I'm going to pretty much blow your mind on this one. I'm looking back at 1 Thessalonians 5 again, and uh, verses 16, 17, and 18. And in 16, well, let's look at the King James here a minute and see what it has to say about it. Uh, 16, it says, Rejoice forevermore, or rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks. All right, well, this word, give thanks, is the same word as rejoice, but with true or beautifully on the front. It's, it's grace. It's the word cheerful grace, graciousness or cheerful grace. That's the same word in both of those verses, except in verse um, 18, it has you on the beginning, which means true or beautiful. And so let's go ahead and have a closer look at this then. So in 16, it says, um, um, every win, like every opportunity, you must, you must be... You must be cheerful. So, in every opportunity, every every chance, you must be being cheerfully gracious, right? Cheerful. That's verse 16. Okay, that's verse 16. <clears throat> then verse 17, uh, the pray without ceasing. It's, um, it's, from to wishfully pray. It has that idea of wishful in it. To wishfully pray towards or before, either one. Uh, to wishfully pray forward to. Wishfully pray forward to without... Without through leaving. Okay, so you must do it in such a way where you you do not ever have it be left. Okay, or have anything be left. So there's this through that's connected with it. Without through leaving. So that means that everything, everything without exception must be brought through wishful praying toward God. Everything without exception must be brought through wishful praying toward, towards God. That's verse 17, okay? Then verse 18, in all things you must be being truly beautiful, truly or beautifully cheerfully gracious, right? How do you do this? I'm going to take it out on the balcony and have a chat with you about it. So the main question about all this is how do I fit this in with what's going on in my life? Where do I have time to do this always, all the time? Well, one of them is uh, to not to not leave anything behind out of your praying. I've got some laundry hanging up here drying. <laughs> Pardon me. So, that's something that, that isn't a, in regards to trying to find time in order to do it all the time. But it's about the quantity of things. How many things should you be not leaving behind? The answer is nothing. You need to take everything to the Lord. Everything. And so, how do we do this? Well, I'll tell you how I do this. And this was, this was really amazing to discover this. That I have so many moments throughout the day where I'm alone, where I can talk with God. Then later I learned that I can actually be talking with God while I'm with someone else. And it's not going to be out loud, but it, it'll be silently under my breath, maybe even completely silently, okay? But I will be talking with God during that time. When I walk to the store, I'm talking with God. And I'm, what, I'm, what am I saying? 
I'm saying, praise you, Father. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. This is the primary content of what I'm doing when I'm talking with God. I'm literally thanking Him. I'm praising Him. And I'll also even think of things, specific things, to thank Him for or to praise Him for. So, getting specific is very good. Being, being uh, general also is very good. So, like, you know, when you don't have something specific on your mind that you want to uh, say out loud, or you, you're not thinking of, then you just praise Him. Praise you, Father God. Thank you so much. And you thank Him for things that are just so common. Thank you for the food that you give me. Thank you for these, these clothes that I have to hang up here to dry out on my balcony. You know, each window I have open and I've got a shirt hanging up there. You know, but thank God for these shirts. Thank God for this balcony and these places to hang these things to dry. You know, thank God for this, this little rose plant down here. It's just starting to come back. I just about killed it at one point. But now it's starting to even show that it might be getting some more roses again. Thank God for this. Praise you, Lord God, that I've got this cheerful little plant, you know, to look at that's growing so well again. Thank you for these shirts, that I've got all these shirts to wear when it's so hot outside. You know, and, I, and you can go on and on. And you can thank him for the same thing many times throughout the day. Why not? Of course, why not? <laughs> why not? Thank Him for your food again, even when you're, when you're not eating. Thank you, Lord, that I have a place to live, that I'm not homeless, that I'm not on the street. Thank you for my friends that I have, that I can fellowship with, that I can meet with, and I, I know that they know you on some level at least. And so you can, you can thank Him for all... I thank you for this store that's right across the street over here that's open 24-7. That's rare here. But that, you know, with my schedule, sometimes I, in the summertime here, I'm thinking about going to the store when it's like 9.30 or 10 and, well, all the stores are closing at that time. And so thank God that this one over here is open 24-7 and it's got everything that I really need at that time of night. I can even go ahead and postpone it until like 11 o'clock and go over and get something if I need to, if I'm staying up a little later. But I'm thanking God for this. I'm rejoicing in God at the things that he's done for me. And I'm recalling that. I'm bringing that to memory. And I'm recalling that. And I don't, I have no qualms about repeating myself because I'm thankful for those things. If I say it a second time, a third time, a fourth time, I don't care. I'm not trying to be perfect um, in terms of um, writing an essay for a class or something. No, this is, this, is, this is God. This is the one who is with me. This is the one who upholds me. This is the one who makes the path for me. Yes, every moment when I'm washing my dishes, I'm praising God. Why not? And that's where I first learned it, was from um, a man named Brother Lawrence, who was a monk, a French monk, who wrote um, Practicing the Presence of God. He was a Catholic French monk back in, I don't even remember what century it was, but it was hundreds of years ago. And I read this little writing, and he was called... the. Um, I don't remember what he's called, but anyway, he was, he learned that he could praise God and pray while he was working, while he was cleaning the kitchen floor or washing the pots and pans. And I thought, wow, yes, of course, of course I can. Of course I can do that. And so I just, I started doing it and God just showed me how I can do it to where I'm praising him and I'm praying more often than anything else that I'm doing throughout the day. So I encourage you, go ahead and, and pick up this challenge. Start talking with the Lord. In every moment that you have, start talking with the Lord. And don't be afraid to repeat yourself. Don't be afraid to thank Him for the same things over and over throughout the day. 
Why not? And may the Lord bless you as you seek Him with all your heart.